Would you please put your hands together for Mr. G. This poem is called To The Birds. Two red robins awoke early one morning, father and son sharing a moment of calling. In the magical hours between dewdrops and dawn, when all is calm with the world. Said son to father, Dad, why do we sing? And puff up our chest and limber up our wings, when it seems to me to be a bird is but a lowly thing, when man is in charge of this world. He builds a nest so high it makes love to the sky. He wears feathers in all shapes and all colors and sizes. His wings are invisible, yet he flies so high. So why should we sing in this world? Said father to son, Yeah, man indeed is strong. He walks as proud as a peacock and has the grace of a swan. He even goes a little cuckoo when the weather goes wrong. For he believes that he's in charge of this world. He puts a feather in his cap and tries to rule the roost. But whenever he gets scared, he feels the bump of a goose. For we used to be dinosaurs and that's the truth. And that's why we sing in this world. Thank you very much. I'm Mr. G and I am a poet or a spoken word artist and a, a man who loves words. I'm a Londoner. I grew up in a big city, so I've, I've never really known anything else. So I guess that London is very much a part of my fabric, my lifeblood, my force. The driving motivation behind my poetry is trying to answer questions that I have about life. If I don't believe that a poem or a work of art or anything can really change someone's life, right? You are the person that changes your own life. All the poem does, or the work of art does, or the movie or the song does, all it does is that it just, I suppose, maybe just, I suppose, clears the vision for you to see the path upon which you can then change your own life. That's all I really want from my poetry. I just want it to be able to stimulate questions, stimulate thinking. As long as you're thinking, then the path will always be found at some point in time. <laughs>